Alright guys, so in Dragon Ball Super Manga Shooter number 64, it was looking like Demoro was pretty much out of all options. He was being dominated by Goku so much that Moro was visibly shaking and he was also in pain as well. And towards the end, when Goku easily put Moro down on the ground, and Moro at that time was in immense amounts of pain. And at that time also, he was asking Goku for forgiveness. He was asking Goku not to end his life. So at that moment, the way that Moro was talking, it was looking like that Moro just pretty much gave up. And once again, it was looking like and seeming like that Moro was out of options. They had nothing left to offer to Goku. And this was the end of Moro. So before I read any new chapter that comes out guys, what I do is I go all the way back towards the beginning of the arc and I rewatch everything or like reread everything in the case of this manga. I went back and read everything from the beginning of this Moro arc. And what I caught in chapter 47 was really interesting. And this could potentially cause a horrible situation for Goku and just everyone on earth. And guys, we have to go all the way back to chapter 47 to know what that exactly is. So in the beginning of Super Manga Chapter number 47, Goku and Vegeta were still in the little Namekian house after Asuka healed their life energies. And at that time, Moro was on the hunt for the Dragon Balls. He was looking for them with a cranberry. And one of the Namekians that was with Goku and Vegeta in frustration and sadness, he says at this rate the Tosuburi village is doomed and he will have four Dragon Balls. And then Goku suddenly says, how is he finding the Dragon Balls in the first place? And Vegeta replies back, using the villages. And Goku says, huh? And Vegeta replies back, he's locating each Namekian settlement and attacking them one by one. Just like how Frieza and his people went about it. And then Goku says, oh, because Moro can read Chi. And then Goku once again says, but if he's not zeroing in on the Dragon Balls themselves. And then he looks at the Dragon Balls. And then guys, Goku once again says, we should be good as long as he's in the dark about the final one. And then guys, everyone looks at the Dragon Ball. And then Vegeta says, one would hope. And then Goku once again says, hey, can you get a message to the survivors and tell them to get away from the villages? Then at least they don't gotta die for nothing. Then the elder Namekians replies back to Goku and he says, indeed, I'll let them know. And then guys, Goku says to Vegeta, we should suppress our power for now. And Vegeta says, damn it. And then guys, the scene switches to the Namekians. And we get to see a lot of Namekians on the ground. And they're lifeless. Moro has taken their lives. And then we get to see Moro looking for the Dragon Balls. And as Cranberry is looking for the Dragon Balls in the Namekian houses, as he's looking, Cranberry says, Ah, oh, come on, where did they stash that thing? And so as Cranberry is digging around for the Dragon Balls, Moro is just standing there at one place and he was looking around everywhere. Then in frustration, Cranberry once again says it would have made our lives much easier if they would spell the beans, but none of them would talk. These folks are strange. And guys, Moro was still looking around. And suddenly, he put his eyes on a little Namekian house. And Moro points his finger and he says, there. Search that sanctuary, Cranberry. And Cranberry in shock, he says, huh? Then Cranberry goes into the house that Moro pointed to. And suddenly he says, yup, I found them, Moro. And in confusion, once again, Cranberry says, How did you know where it was, though? And Moro doesn't say anything, he just stays quiet, with a very sadistic smile. And once again, as Moro is looking around, Cranberry once again says, What? Wait, can you detect where the Dragon Balls are? And just like before, Moro doesn't say anything, he just stands still and looks around. And suddenly, Moro says, Excellent. And again, with a very sadistic smile, Moro says, The next one is that way. Off we go, Cranberry. And so next, Moro is able to track down one of the Namekians that had the sixth Dragon Ball. And after Moro easily took the life of the Namekian, he had six Dragon Balls. And the final Dragon Ball was with Goku and Vegeta and the other Namekians that was with them. And Cranberry suddenly says, Incredible Moro. We're really picking up the pace. Then Moro laughs and he points his finger and he says the final ball is where we first landed. And then Cranberry says, oh yeah? The first village was hiding all along? And then he says, let's go get it. And then Vegeta suddenly notices that Moro is coming straight for them. And Vegeta with a concern, he says, ah, Kagura, do you feel that? Then Goku says, Moro is on the move. And the elder Namekian says, what, you, you sense something? And Goku with the concern, he says, no doubt about it, he's flying straight towards us. 
Then one of the Namekians says, do you think he can detect us? And then Goku says, no, that's not it. Because there are bound to be survivors around the planet. And then Vegeta in frustration and in anger, he says to himself, that bastard, is he somehow able to sense the Dragon Balls directly? Moro can somehow, some way, detect Dragon Balls directly. Just somehow, some ways, he knows where they are located. So even though right now Moro is losing to Goku, but still, Moro is not fully out of options just yet. He still has some options that are still available to him. So let's not forget that we saw Krillin was coming with the Sensu Beans. And Moro could somehow, some way use Krillin to his advantage. Because Moro is still very dangerous. And guys, lastly, Moro is able to feel the presence of the Dragon Balls. And guys, as we all know, Planet Namek is not the only planet that possesses the Dragon Balls. Earth also has Dragon Balls as well. And Moro is able to sense the Dragon Balls. And without a shadow of a doubt, he is a brilliant being. Moro has immense knowledge about a lot of things. And so guys, with that, without a doubt, Moro is much more powerful right now. And his magic has gotten more polish than we saw him on planet Namek. So this right here is very possible. So just what if Moro feels and realizes the Earth also has Dragon Balls as well. And just somehow he's able to bring the Dragon Balls directly to him, to where he is at. And guys, that would create a horrible situation for Goku, Vegeta, and just the entire Earth itself. Things will go from bad to worse. And there's a small possibility that Goku may know about this as well. But still, it doesn't seem like that Goku knows about it to the full extent. But guys, Vegeta on the other hand, he knows and he has a full realization that Moro is able to sense the Dragon Balls directly. Anyways guys, that's about it. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you guys did enjoy this video, give it a huge thumbs up. And if you guys are brand to this channel, be subscribed for more videos like this. Anyways guys, once again, thank you all so much for watching. And have a blessed day my friends.